I'm glad you boys was able to get back together with your kin. You're welcome to stay as long as you want, but not the Indian women. We got a strict company rule about that. What rule? We don't allow any Indians to live inside the fort unless they're relatives of the employees. Well, she's a friend. She'd more than likely find some of her own people outside in the village there. What is she? A Jibwa. Oh, we got a Jibwa here. Somebody will take her in. Be glad to. Let her go, son. Look, I'm sorry. They won't let you stay inside the fort. I understand. Let's go, son. <laughs> Family's waiting, Will. Look, I'm sorry to come busting in. Who the hell are you? What are you doing in here? Get out of here, you hear me? Just scrawny hide out of here. Hey, what are you doing there? You stop that. You stay out of this. It's none of your business. Anything that happens on this force is my business. My name is Fossenbacher. I'm the head clerk with the American Fur Company. Let this man go. Nikan, Nikan. Nikan Gego. Wakto Wake. Akawi. We wak. Doasen. He's her cousin. Let him up. Cousin? Cousin, yes. Father, brother, son. Well, why didn't somebody say so? We have a peaceful business relationship with the Indians here. And we cannot allow a foolish incident all right, like all right. this. All right. Weedock, can I talk to you, please? Inside? Privately? Is that right if I speak to the lady? Or is that going to upset your peaceful business relationship? I'm sorry about your cousin. I thought he was a boyfriend or something. Boyfriend? Uh, yeah, that's uh, somebody who's uh, about to be your husband. Husband? No, no, cousin. Well, I know that now. Quidnook, could we sit down, please? I feel like an unpainted barn door standing here. Uh, what I want to say is. Well, I know uh, everybody will be leaving soon. And uh, you ain't planning to leave too, are you? Yes. You are? Yes, go. Me cousin go find people, Ojibwa. That's what I wanted to. Uh... Quidnook, I know they won't let you live inside the fort. And I'm sorry about that. I really am. But uh... a boy go like this. I was thinking if you stayed, I mean, if you decided to stay and... Stay? Stay, yes. Uh, not go. Ah, uh, not go, yes? I'd like to take care of you. Care? Because I do care for you. And, uh, taking care of you. Next thing to do. Care? That means, uh, I'm very fond of you. Fine. Bond. You make me happy. You make me very happy. You make me happy too. Will you stay? Not go. That's good. That's good. That's real good. Quita. Could I kiss you, please? I've been dying to kiss you ever since I pulled you off that horse. Kiss. White man's custom. Kiss. Kiss. That's what it's called. Hard on. 
I'm happier now than I've been, and I don't know how long. I swear it. Quidnook, I'm going to build us a cabin, and I'm going to do all the hunting, and the fishing needs to be done, and I'll tend to the chopping and the sawing and the planting. Well, no talk. Kiss. I'm gonna have to ask you this straight out. It's the best way, son. What is it? I want some of the money we put aside. What for? So as I can buy the quarter section next to this one. It's family money, Paul. We all contributed to saving it. It's family money, true enough. Well, what do you need that land for, Will? Build a cabin on it? Oh, cabin right here is big enough for all of us. I want a cabin of my own, Paul. Planning to marry again. Ain't no women I've seen here at Laramie, except your ma and your sister. There's women besides them, Paul. Who are you fixing to marry, son? I believe I'm talking to you, Will. Is it the squaw you come riding in with? And I know you're living down there with her. Ain't nothing wrong with a man taking his pleasure wherever he can get it. More than that, Paul. No. Paul, I'm asking you for that money. I'm asking you, please. No! I'm still the head of this family, and I'll be the one who decides where the money goes. I helped earn that money, Paul. Not to build no damn cabin for no squaw. She's a woman, Pa. Same as Ma. Same as Bonnie Sue. Same as... Son, I think we better leave off this conversation before we say things there's no turning back from. Let's get them said, then. Said all I got to say. I'm not giving you the money you want, and that's all I got to say. No, that ain't all. No, that ain't all. Your sister was killed by an engine and you're planning to marry. One what? thing's got nothing to do with the other. Grandpa was killed by an Indian too. Yes. What's what one thing got to do with the other? Go on back to your pa, squad. Pa, just go on. a grown man, Pa. Yes, I know you are. She died without me to care for her. She's alone down there, Pa. She's a woman all alone. A squaw. Pa, I love her. Go to her then. Go. Go.